Why do you think that women want you to pay for a first date? And yeah, I know that's a pretty bold statement that all women want you to pay for the first date. Here's how I see the breakdown. I think that a majority of women do want you to pay for a first date. And out of that majority, I believe some say that they don't want it, but secretly they do. And here's the reason why. It's not because they're trying to use you for free stuff, although there are exceptions. There are some women who are using you. And if you're a sucker and you're just buying women things to get them attracted to you, it's not gonna work because they're just there for your money and not for you. So you may think, where am I getting this data from? And isn't this false because isn't it now that a lot of women are trying to you know, be equal and look at equality and believe that men and women should pay the same amount and all those things? And here's the thing, we're not really talking about the bigger concept of men paying for everything and women paying for nothing. We're just talking about the first date. So I wanna be very specific here because this is something very specific in terms of why women want this thing. Again, it's not about everything. So even if there are women out there who want gender equality, I still think a lot of those women want men to pay on the first date because eventually it does end up being equal, but we're just talking about this first date. Okay, I gotta say that to be very specific. So here's the deal. This is what I want you to understand. It's not about you paying and doing something for her. It's not about her getting free stuff. Look at it as the act. Okay, and the reason why I'm making this video is because this small topic really lends itself to something bigger. And it's the act of you being dominant. It's you kind of taking care of a situation. Also, it's you who's probably nine times out of 10, the one who's asking her out on a date, you are paying for it because you're the one who asked, okay? Yes, she agreed, but still, it's nice for you to have taken care of the fact that you proposed that you guys meet, and so you're kind of leading this interaction, so you take care of it. This act in itself is very attractive, not because she gets something for free, but because, again, you're acting in a dominant way, and dominance is a masculine trait that someone who is feminine is going to be attracted to. So understand the polarities, masculine and feminine. When they're in front of each other, there's a greater chance of attraction. So when a man is exhibiting masculine traits in front of a woman, who is, again, heterosexual in this case, she'll be attracted to that. There's also some instances in which I've heard where if a woman who's more alpha and a uh, man who's a little bit more submissive and a little bit more feminine can also be attracted to each other. And these masculine and feminine traits also show up in homosexual relationships as well. So again, we're just talking about this act of you being dominant, which is a masculine trait, is attracted, attractive to the feminine. Once you can understand this concept, a lot of things start to really connect and click for you, okay? So when you're asking a woman out and you're the one who's taking the lead and then you're the one who says, you know what, don't worry about this, I got this. This makes her more attracted to you. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to be the one to always be paying for, for, for multiple dates. It doesn't mean that you need to be buying her things. It doesn't mean that you need to be proposing the dates all the time. Really, it would be nice if she reciprocated later on. So imagine her eventually proposing a date if you guys go into the dating process where you're seeing each other a lot. It'd be nice if she took care of that. Now I know that in that sense you might be thinking, well, Trip, you just said that the guy should take care of the things and be dominant and all that stuff. Yes, most of the time, but once in a while it's okay if she does that too. But again, if she's the one who is proposing it and she pays for it or maybe down the line you guys split, that's okay. But in the very beginning, it says something about you. On that very first date, it says something. It says, okay, she's gonna be with a guy who is dominant, who is taking the lead, who is in charge, who's in charge of his life, who is effective, who makes things happen. This turns a woman on. So you can do whatever you want. You know, I know there's gonna be a lot of backlash on this video. I know that a lot of guys are gonna be like, yeah, women are feeling entitled, they're entitled to this and that, and we're living in a, a very uh, femme-centric society and all this stuff. That's fine. I'm just saying to you, if you want the best chances of being 
uh, your most attractive and your most masculine and most dominant than paying for the first date. Again, just talking about the first date. At least it's you taking care of this whole process. Are you gonna ruin your chances if you end up splitting the bill? Are you gonna ruin your chances if she is so uh, keen on her being the one to pay for it if that ever happens, right? No, you won't. It still could be fine. It's not gonna be the end of the world if you don't do it. But I believe that you should be putting all the best pieces in place to be more masculine so you can be more attractive, if that's what you want, if you're looking for a woman to be attracted to you. Think about it on the other hand. Think about you being attracted to a woman. She needs to do the things that are more feminine that make you attracted. So all the different feminine traits, right? And the way that she presents herself and the way that she acts and the way that she's nurturing and open and, and all these different things. There's all these reasons why you're attracted to her. So again, I don't want this to be a conversation on men have to do it all, men have to do everything. That's not what it's about. It's just putting in the places and putting in the pieces in the right places for you to have an optimal chance at being attractive to a woman. And of course, a woman being attractive to you. Because if she's not, then you're gonna say bye-bye. And the same with her. Now, I'm not gonna go as far to say that she'll completely disregard you if you guys split the bill on the first date. But again, like I'm saying here is, let's put all the pieces into place and optimize this whole process for you. Also, I believe that if you act dominant in one area of your life, even if it's something this small, it can hopefully translate to you building the habit of being dominant in all the other places in your life. And when I say dominant, I just mean taking control, taking charge, leading what's going on in your life and leading the interactions. I have good news for you. This doesn't have to be something that's gonna completely empty your wallet, especially if you're a guy who's going on a lot of dates and you're taking the advice on these videos or in my Hooked program, which by the way, you can check out in the description below if you wanna learn how to be able to get more dates. I actually have a module in that program that teaches you all about how to get the first date. But my point is, is you don't have to go broke doing this, okay? In fact, I really highly recommend that you don't do anything expensive on the first day because you have no idea if you're going to see this person again. I have a lot of, uh, of friends, guys who, who go out and, and get first dates and if they're not that interested in the girl, they'll do a cheap date and if they're really interested in the girl, they'll want to go to somewhere really nice to dinner and I think that's ridiculous. You shouldn't be treating women differently based on how interested you are in them because it's still a chance that even if you're really interested and you go on a fancy first date, like a fancy dinner, that it ends up being nothing and you never see the girl again, okay? So what I recommend is that every first date you ever do should either be a drink, if you like to drink alcohol, or getting a coffee or a tea. So something to sip on or something very light to eat, but not about having a full meal, more about you two just getting together and sharing something that you can do, because um, obviously it's a little weird if you're just sitting across from each other just talking and not doing anything, right? That's a little strange. So. Just going out, getting coffee, getting a drink. And if then you feel that you guys have really connected and it feels good, maybe you can go do something else and maybe it will uh, lend itself to more food or an activity. But normally, the first date is a couple hours long. You just go out and get something simple. That's not gonna break the bank. So even at that point, going on multiple dates, if it doesn't work out, you haven't really broke the bank. And you paying for that first date, paying for the drink, paying for the coffee really does go a long way. Now you might have a situation if they are really like, I wanna split this, please let me split it. Like they're begging you to split it. What you can do is this, say, hey, I'll tell you what, I got this one and when we do a next one, you'll grab that one. Sound good? And that's the whole idea too, is it's gonna switch off a little bit, right? Between you getting it, her grabbing it, so on and so forth, if you guys keep on dating and seeing each other. But you just say to her, hey, listen, I'll grab this one, you grab the next one. And if she's still insistent, then fine, split the bill at this point. Probably sounds like she's not interested and she just really wants to split it and be on her way and not feels like she owes you anything. Which brings me to my next point. Understand, and I, it's, it pains me to have to say this, but I feel like I have to get through to some guys watching this video. Just because you're paying for a drink, Maybe it ends up in something more like an activity or a meal. Just because you're paying for it doesn't mean you are entitled to 
receiving something in return. What I mean specifically is something sexually, okay? Just because you're doing that, that's not the trade here. Don't, un don't think that the trade here is, well, I paid for it, now I should get my thing. Because again, it's not about a transaction as much as it is about the act of doing it. We're coming full circle here to what I talked about earlier. It's the act in itself, not the end result of her getting something for free, but the act itself that makes it so you are appearing more attractive. Maybe you'll see her again, maybe you won't, who knows, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, it's about you being dominant, which is you asking her out, setting up the date, finding a place, suggesting the me time, finding the place to sit, sit down, you at the end of it, paying for it, she offers to split, I already told you what to do there, and then moving forward, okay? This is the act of dominance. I go really deep into this concept in my Hooked program, which you can find in the description below. Just go to getherhooked.com. That is a program that's going to teach you how to get lots of these first dates. So if you're a guy who's struggling to get any date with any woman, especially if you're not getting dates from online, then you need to check out this program so you can learn the whole process of getting to the point where you're getting multiple dates, how to do the approach, where to meet women, what to say to them to get them interested, and also diving even deeper into this masculine feminine dynamic. Like I said before, right, it's about you portraying, depicting your masculine traits so it gives the feminine a higher chance at being attracted to you. So we're going to be working on that stuff in the program. We're also going to be working on some lifestyle stuff. So I teach you about some of the inner qualities, which is the masculine traits, then the outer qualities, which is how to present yourself in the best light, how to groom, how to look and things like that. So we all throw it together in the program. So you are a rock star at being able to meet, seduce and get women. So check it out. The link is in the description below at getterhook.com. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm sure there'll be some haters, but bring it on. See you soon.